so whenever we say playing with that image the first thing is that we should have a proper understanding of that image what that image is presenting itself okay so whenever we talk about image image as i said earlier is nothing but set of pixels with their color values so pixels are again rows and columns and color values so color values are basically values which a pixel is representing from very very basic starting value we can say that a image has rgb color space rgb stands for red green and blue as you will be aware of the fact that every color which a human eye can perceive is mixture of these three colors red green and blue these three colors combine to make every other color which is available to human eye so if we play with this rgb color space we would say that this is a three channel image what this example is showing that if i write a command to have properties of image the output shown is 549 rows 976 columns and three is the channel this three channel means that this image is being shown in 549 rows 976 columns and with three color values which are red green and blue so now coming back to these properties basically first i will explain there are different color space in which image can be presented the most important or most famous is red green and blue rgb we can convert this into different color spaces such as ycbcr hsi hsv and so on there are several color spaces how to decide which color space we want to use it totally depends on the given application for example if we don't want to have an application where are so many variety of colors is available then we can use different color scheme instead of rgb for example if i use ycbcr so ycbcr mostly used in those color spaces where content is mostly in blue or red area so if for example if we want to make an application of human face authentication or understanding or recognition or detection we can use ycbcr color space because it gives us more content as compared to rgb values okay this is one thing and another problem with image processing in computer vision applications is if we want to use these three colors channels as we just mentioned like rgb or ycbcr or hsi or luv lab these are different places you should search out yourself also or you can write back to us we will be answering these things also but anyhow so this complexity of this color space would be very high if we are using these three color channels or three color spaces so what we usually do is we convert this image into grayscale image by grayscale means that we will be presenting the image in the color between 0 and 1 or 0 and 255 so by 255 or 1 means that this is a whitish color or white color 0 means black so image is converted into grayscale image which is also called black and white image and if the value is near to 0, it will be more blackish. And if the value is near to 255, it would be whitish. So, and talking again, so coming back to image properties, we want to print different properties of image. So, the property which we are showing here is image shape. So, again, syntax is quite simple for printing this thing image dot shape. So, image is our given image. And now we want to just see what would be the shape of the image if I run this command. This video is sponsored by Altium the industry standard and most professional PCB design software on the market. I've used Altium for designing printed circuit boards to build my own custom Arduinos and high-speed on-edge computer vision projects. When I tested other PCB CAD softwares out there, I found that nothing came close to the flexibility, ease of use and power of Altium Designer. I mean, if you ever worked on PCB design for computer vision applications, you know that transmitting video signals is a very delicate task with many high-speed signals that you have to consider in terms of electromagnetic noise and crosstalk. Altium helps you to easily manage and route high-speed signals with length tuning to ensure that you receive clear image quality on the other end. What's really great is that we have partnered up with Altium to bring you an exclusive discount for our Augmented Startups community. Sign up with the link down below to get 30% off monthly of the perpetual license of Altium Designer. You can also try out Altium Designer for free for the first 15 days. Just click the link down below to get started. So let's run this command and see ourselves. So because I have done with these commands, so what I can do, I can just simply comment these out. Or maybe for the running purpose, I can leave it at the moment. So what I will be doing, print, and I have an object called image dot shape. So if I run this one now, okay so th this is because of the previous commands and what we see here at terminal is 360 into 677 into 3 so 360 are the number of rows 677 are the number of columns and 3 are the channels so this is what i have run here print image dot shape 
so it is just giving different information about the image so basically this is rows columns and color scheme very interesting this thing in image processing is also called resolution of the image so we can say that this is the resolution basically resolution itself depicts number of rows into columns into color channels or number of channels so for this specific example or the given example which is like a test image test underscore image dot png if we have 360 rows 67 columns and three are the color channels so we can say that this is not a very high resolution image rather a small image with not very good quality available 